Hello boat fans, this is Tim from Boats with Brighton and this is the next in our series of what should I look at underneath my boat when it's out of the water and this time we're going to look at keels so this is a, a, an old westerly Fulmar 32 not in the best of shape but not in the worst either and as you can see if I look underneath she's got two keels so she's known as a bilge keeler or twin keels and um, let's go a little bit closer so what am I looking for? Well, first of all, I'm just having a, a general appreciation of the, the shape and form of the keel. Are there any dents? Is it bent? Has it uh, been dinged or uh, is it cracked, etc.? And I can't say any of that, which is a good indication. And then I'm going to start at the front and I'm looking at the, the leading edge of this keel. So I'm, I'm ignoring the condition of it at the moment and I'm just looking for any dents or cracks or anything in this particular area because being at the, the leading end of the um, keel underwater and the deepest part of the boat, it's very likely that if the boat's hit anything, it would have hit the front of one or both of these keels. And this can result in the keel being pushed in that direction, which means that the front part here is likely to be wanting to be pulled down in this direction or straight down um, or straight in that direction, which could cause um, damage to the hull itself as well as the keel and we'd see that in the form of um, hairline cracks here or larger cracks or maybe even split GLP etc due to the force of the, the keel wanting to be pulled away from the hull because it's hit something so it's worth having a look there and conversely if we go along to the trailing edge of the keel and look here too um, when the front edge of the keel hits something the trailing edge it, the, it, the tendency is for it to want to be pushed up backwards along or up and inwards into the hull and we might see some traces of cracking hairline cracking or larger cracking or or splinter GRP here also um, but this boat looks fine I can't see any damage but that, that is for a surveyor to uh, to tell us about so now if I go and look forward along the keel joint we're looking to see if there's any water draining away there will be water draining away when the boats initially pulled out but that should dry up and stop if any is persistently draining through from the inside of the boat that could be uh, that could indicate a problem also we're looking for a, a gap here if, uh, if the keels come loose or if it's hit something there could be a gap there uh, and also um, it would be nice if the boat was still in strops and not resting on the the blocks as it is now we'd grab the edge of the keel here give it a good wiggle to see if there's any movement there and there really shouldn't be any movement there at all if there was movement it would mean that the keels aren't secured in properly so we'd look at the keel bolts inside the boat that are bolted through the hull into the keel to see if they've come loose for any reason so um yeah apart from what i've just described we're looking at uh, general pitting and as you can see here where the uh, where the um anti-foul which is this red paint here has, has uh, been worn away or scraped away here we can see that we've got some reasonable pitting here where the protective paint and anti-foul has actually disappeared and we've got corrosion starting to appear there which isn't very good so what we need to do is take that back to nice clean bare metal and then prime it and paint it again to prevent it getting any worse but it's not the end of the road for the boat it just means that the aerodynamic nice flat shape of the keel is compromised slightly and might affect her speed so yeah this is Tim from Boats at Brighton a quick look around a typical keel that's just been pulled out of the water hope you've uh, gained a little bit of knowledge and I'm sure some a lot of people out there will know more than I do and uh, we're always really really keen for feedback and comments etc so uh, please leave it if you see fit thanks for watching and have a great day